biotech sphere is expanding in Europe. Here to tell us about some of the recent innovations is Eugenio Aringhieri. Well, Eugenio, if we might start with the key trends in the continental biotech industry, talk me through them. Let me say that biotech uh, is a real great revolution in progress and the biotechnology has taken up uh, the challenge of uh, providing an answer to the open question in health in completely different landscape compared to the past. From uh, a, a broader horizon to the personalized medicine, the right drug for the individual patients. And uh, in this new paradigm of R&D, the biotechnology for sure has had uh, their forefront. And uh, Europe uh, is playing a leading role in, uh, in, uh, in this uh, biotech revolution with uh, more than 2,000 companies involved, more than uh, 50,000 employees, uh, professional guys working in, this, uh, in these companies, and also with a huge uh, level of investment with more than 2 billion uh, yearly basis uh, in R&D. And the corresponding challenges with these trends? Uh, yeah, of course, there are a lot of challenges. Uh, but I don't hesitate to say that uh, biotechnology has changed the natural history of a lot of diseases from the beginning. Since uh, 1982, with the first uh, drug uh, in, uh, in the market, the insulin, uh, a really true revolution for the treatment of diabetes. A million, million patients changed their life. From that to the latest uh, discovery in, uh, in 2014 in biotech uh, with a new drug uh, against the hepatitis C. Uh, today, there are 350 million patients treated all over the world with biotech drugs. However, the more than 50% of the products in development are biotech. That means in 10 years from now, we'll uh, arrive, we're coming up uh, a lot of a new solution from the problem of the patients. Now, how much of a role has innovation played in the industry's expansion? A huge role. Uh, innovation, productivity and growth are three elements of the same uh, virtuous uh, circle that uh, created uh, a competitive advantage. And the company that connected uh, the competitiveness uh, with the their capability to innovate, of course, uh, react better to the crisis and they get back in shortest time. And they also, uh, this company approached the innovation in very different way, creating an open innovation. That means they put together and sharing uh, their distinctive skills and they create and built up a very innovative uh, networking all over the world. In that way, create a sort of synergic um, approach uh, between the different competences and they overcome in this way the complexity of the challenge. And how does Dompe fit into this larger growth story? After 75 years of history in uh, primary care, successful history in primary care, we approach the new normal world uh, in the different uh, way, following three worlds, focus, network and uh, geographic expansion. Focus means dedicating our effort to the uh, rare diseases and uh, networking means to set up a global network of excellence uh, among the different uh, stakeholders in order to guarantee a good uh, level of a synergic, uh, synergic approach between the different stakeholders. Uh, that's uh, the reason why we can say that we, we change completely the face of the company from uh, a local commercial uh, a driven company to the global R&D driven one. How would you say you raise awareness for some of the diseases you treat? Uh, the awareness uh, play an important role uh, in the dialogue uh, among the different stakeholders. Uh, above all uh, in the sector uh, as the rare diseases are. And it's important to work together with the different stakeholders in order to decide which will be the right road to develop the drug. And that has been our experience in this sector, for instance, uh, with the NGF, Nerve Growth Factor, a new drug developed for uh, neurotrophic keratitis. It's a very rare disease for the front of the eye. In this sector, we start an early dialogue uh, with the regulatory agency from one side, from the other. We set up a very network of excellence uh, among the different centers really specialized in this sector in order to guarantee the best approach to develop the drug. However, it's uh, really important to get the voice to the patients in this field. And that's the reason why we decided to launch a video, uh, rarest once, 
um, uh, during the uh, World Rare Diseases Day, and it uh, has had a very huge impact at the international level, and I hope that we can help the rising of awareness around of this topic. Finally, what's next for Dompe? For sure, the next three years uh, will be really challenging, crucial time for, for Dompe, because uh, we are in the latest stage of uh, several different projects uh, in uh, some different therapeutic area, and all those as an eye on math medical need. And we feel the expectation of a thousand patients all over the world. And of course, we wanted to guarantee a positive break for them. And that, that principle uh, guide our daily commitment.